As you can see, all eight bridges to Jefferson Island have been cut. There is no traffic getting on or off the island. We are in hour 15 of the communications blackout with Jefferson Island, leaving the residents there effectively cut off from the outside world. Yes, they're demanding that we not approach the city, and we've been told anyone who does will be met with force. But look, let me make this perfectly clear. We have no intention of giving in to any such demands. No! Oh my God! Run! My fellow citizens, first, I assure you that all necessary measures are being taken. I have personally authorized a special team of Marines into the field. They'll be working closely with our intelligence agencies to bring this matter to a swift and peaceful conclusion. Who? Me? <laughs> Ready as always. Most impressive. Your skills are sure to please my client. Well, anyone else here feel they deserve a sponsor? Apparently not. Congratulations, contestant. My client will be delighted. Hey, I could use a sponsor. Who's there? Show yourself! There is a signing bonus, right? Of course. But I wouldn't spend your bonus just yet. He's already killed two dozen bigger than yourself. <laughs> bigger don't mean better. <laughs> Apparently not. Consider yourself sponsored. Signing bonus is 10,000. Survive and you'll be paid in full. While you're alive and in the good graces of Death Watch control, I'll supply you with such weaponry as you require. Sounds like we got a deal. You can call me 13, as I represent sponsor number 13. And your name? For contract purposes, of course. Jack. Just Jack. Very well, Just Jack. Shall we begin? You see the communicator there. I want you to put it in your ear. With that, we'll be able to continue our little talks. I'll be using it to keep you abreast of critical developments as the game progresses, so don't take it out.
Let the games begin. They call him Little Eddie when he's so fucking big. I think it's supposed to be ironic. What? You know, the use of words to express something other than, and especially the opposite of, the literal meaning. Usually a humorous or sardonic literary style or form. You got beat up in school a lot, didn't you? Yes.
Jack, where did you go? I had to take a piss. What, is no pissing in my contract? There are over 10,000 cameras in this city, Jack. Most of them put here by the government to deter criminals. Others by store owners and the like. Death Watch Control uses them to monitor the games. They also use them to score your points. And of course, we're watching too. Only... The cameras can't see every nook and cranny, I get it. So you want me to hold it unless you're there to catch every last drop? The only thing my client is concerned with is how Game Control sees you. This morning's contestant met an untimely death, which meant a considerable financial loss for us. We wouldn't want to lose you, too, just because Game Control deemed you suspicious. I thought I meant something to you, and now I find out it's just about the money. I feel so dirty. We just want you to enjoy the game. No, call it a sport. Of course, like Polo, with chainsaws. Oh, now don't worry, Thirteen. I may be a rookie at your little sport, but I'm a fast learner. So let's get going, shall we? Wouldn't want to keep the audience waiting. Pips players and pain purveyors. The party don't get started till someone spikes the punch. Am I right? Which is why I bring to you the motherfucking death press. So y'all bitches better hold on to your seatbelts. Cause somebody about to be a motherfucking pancake in this piece. It's me, baby, the one and only Black Baron, Bishop of Blood and Carnage. Today I'm bringing y'all a recipe for good times. Just toss some G's ass in the press when the time is right, you got a bloody Sunday. Just don't get tossed in the punch yourself, baby, you feel me? Hey, mama, look at me, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, 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 oh, 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 hell no! This Players and pimps, holler if you hear me. I am proud to introduce the most marvelous of barroom games, Man Dogs. Three years into making this baby is almost as impressive as yours truly. And you know who yours truly is. The black motherfucking bat stops that. Now all you gotta do is swing a fat bat into some fat ass and launch that motherfucker at the board. We keep score just like we do in darts, so you just worry about hitting it and quitting it, you feel me? And speaking of hitting it, hey baby, what you doing? No, I don't, baby, I got my own bat. I don't need no bat. Hell yeah. Go, go, go.
Looks like you're in. Good work. There is no other kind with me. But keeping Thirteen and the Death Watchers in the dark. You'll just have to stay out of the spotlight then. That won't be a problem, will it? <laughs> oh, Jack, we couldn't find any trace of airborne virus in the sample you sent. Still, I wouldn't go touching any corpses you find. It might be communicable via bodily fluids. No touching corpses. Wow, you're chock full of helpful hints. Jack, staying out of the spotlight usually involves not running towards gunfire? I know what I'm doing, Amala. Those shots just now were 22 caliber. 13 tells me run-of-the-mill contestants aren't allowed guns. Only a handful of the ranked players and the Death Watchers get them. But 22 caliber's too small for them. You think there's a civilian still alive? You think this is living? You've made it to Asian Town. Jack, you're doing quite well. And I'm pleased to report that your ratings are on the rise. Which makes your client happy, I take it. Very. And I dare say this is the perfect stage for you to take your game to the next level. What better backdrop than the exotic Far East? Is this guy for real? No, don't answer that. He'll hear you on the transmitter. Whoever designed this dump has obviously never been to Asia. This looks like a bad mashup between an amusement park and an ethnic stereotype. Hey, whatever makes the audience happy. Yes, you understand. You see, it's not just about the blood. It's about experiencing something beyond the drudgery of our daily lives. The excitement of the new, the undiscovered. Is this douchebag for real? Quiet. Stay back! I said stay back! A civilian alive? This is a surprise. You remember how many points a duck's worth? Nah, but those bastards in private practice are worth big bucks. Well shit, he's public. That's a city hospital ID. So, why do you get more for private docs? Cause those insurance sucking fat wallet bottom feeders take your money at... Who the fuck are you? Just a firm believer in public health care. Here's the bad Asian town. The money shot. How you gonna lay the money down today, player? Tell you how I laid the money down, pimps and players, but that'll be a Black Baron trade secret. Shit, I'ma give you a hint though, cause that's the kind of pimp I is. Take a bottle full of bub, shook up nice and tight, and pop that shit down a G stoat and take aim. Just be careful to aim quick, cause this bad boy's a three second man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going on, baby? Oh, you wanna see who is on the money tonight? <laughs> Alright, folks, she don't talk too much, but she about to take care of all of y'all. Oh, you talking about me? Come on now, baby, you know my ass is always... What? Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Fuck! What's the deal here again? Jack needs to hit the sexy girl target with the cider to get bonus points. He can also kill an enemy with the bat, but there's no bonus for that. Just that good killing someone with a... Here comes Rin Rin, the fantastic kung fu queen. Two of you have a thing a while back? If by thing you mean a five minute fight that left me spitting teeth and pissing blood, yeah, then we had a thing. I'm going to enjoy every moment. Why 
Why did you let him live, Jack? As those scumbags noted, a dead civilian isn't worth many points, but a live one is worth nothing. So you want me to kill that kid? I merely want to know why you did not kill him. Why? Do I need a reason not to kill someone? I'm in this game to kill other contestants, not go hunting after some half-dead civvy. <sighs> Maybe you don't understand, Jack. This is a business. As long as you have a contract with us, you are obligated to follow the rules. Rules? <laughs> is there any rule here but kill or be killed? Look, if wasting a few doctors is gonna up my pay, I'm happy to do it. But don't you think your audience would rather see me paint the sidewalks red with someone my own size? Of course, you are an artist, Jack. Go out and make us happy. Make your fans happy. I aim to please. Yeah, yeah, yeah! This is the kind of treat only the Bishop of Blood and Carnage, the Black Baron, stops him. To light up the night, all you got to do is toss a motherfucker into a tube. Then it's only a matter of time before that ass gets tapped and kabloom! Shit be flying, you think it's the 4th of July up in this motherfucker? God damn! Hey, come on, baby. No, oh, you know I love you. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh, 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 oh. oh. Round one! This should be fun! This is what we've been waiting for, folks! Put the kids to bed because you don't want them to see your ass. Did you really want them to see everything until this point? Oh, sure, why not? Don't want to raise a society full of pussies. Now we're in for a fight. Fucking A, it's time for the big boys to dance. <laughs> Just like the great gladiators of ancient Rome, these two men will enter the arena and clash in hand-to-hand -hand combat for nothing more than the enjoyment of the rich and powerful. Where the fuck did that come from? I've been on a greedy fight once. Can you beat me, little one? Climb to the roof for the view? If so, he'll find it a view to die for! Exquisite. Just exquisite, Jack. You're a born kill seeker, you know that? You have real talent. Mom always said I was special. Do you know how many years this game has gone on? Thousands, Jack. Thousands. Excuse me? Not quite on this scale, of course, but just as vital. A contest between chosen gladiators. A grand fete of carnage. In every society, at all times, there has been war. Even at our most peaceful moments, we have never been truly free of the seeds of strife. As long as there is power, territory, ethnicity, belief, ideals, as long as there are people, there will be conflict. Our age is not different than any other. Come, Jack, how many countries do you know that are truly at peace? You know who this guy is, Jack? He's the one asshole. Get it? One asshole to rule them all? I didn't realize there was gonna be a pop quiz. What's your point? The first Death Watch games took place 2,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent then, now nothing but rocks and sand. War had been the way of life there for years. Weary of the bloodshed, the leaders from each camp chose champions to fight on their behalf. To the victor went the rule of law. Ah. 
almost the beginning. So, they realized the price of power is blood, and they wanted to cut costs. Precisely. Thus began the games. At times the games are fought to decide the fate of a country, other times it is merely to determine the outcome of a feud. But the goal remains the same. The settlement of conflict for the minimum price in blood. That is why the games exist. So, then what's this all about, huh? What fate does it decide? You telling me an entire city and everyone in it is the minimum price for this game? The world is controlled not by the masses, but by the hands of a few. It is an undeniable fact, and it has always been so. That all men are created equal is a myth. The people are nothing but weeds. They're overlords, gardeners. Only when the weeds are cut, may flowers bloom. From all the fertilizer you're spreading, I'm guessing you're a gardener. You're a talented man. It's good to know some things don't change. Welcome back, Jack. It's good to be home. Here comes Jack as he walks in amongst all those beautiful flowers. Nothing says I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance to a bunch of flowers. And here comes the big balls! That waterfall is getting in the closest thing to a shower he's had in months! Your best shot, boy. You got me pushing the way against this guy. I know the chance is strong. Great finish. I love it. Do you have to do everything? Hey, I just saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant. But if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... <sighs> they sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? so fast. The island was cut off before we knew what was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Farragon City, lend me your ears. We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. 
Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day. Redefine justice in your own terms. Let the games begin. To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might makes right. It is the only law and your only chance if you wish to live through this. To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of $100 million. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone, and you will be given a vaccine. Oh, and I suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah, a case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Game over. So who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! <sighs> I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> Your lucky day, isn't it? I've got an ID on your friend. Born in 1993 in Ausrain Harmonia. Went to public high school, majored in medicine at Berrigan State. Top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. So, guess we trust the doc. If you're not a contestant, who are you? Are you with some kind of rescue squad? There's gonna be a rescue, right? Uh, why haven't they sent anyone yet? <laughs> Because everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The island's cut off completely. Spy satellites are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Targets, more like it. If I were you, I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. Hello, Jack. Jack Kamen. Registered chaser with the Guild under the Bureau's High Crimes Division. Graduated from Stanfield, joined the Marines. His squad saw some action, a few top secret missions. The Lasiria Embassy hostage crisis in 92, the Albeda Airport takeover in 97. Earned himself three silver stars. Regular hero. And good at making corpses, as we've seen. It all begins to make sense. Later says he left the Marines and joined the Varigan City PD as a detective in the Homicide Division. Oh, this is interesting. You remember the kidnapping of the Minister of Transportation's daughter? Yes, Palgastini, wasn't it? I seem to recall they paid the ransom and found the girl murdered. 
It seems that Jack was in charge of the case at first, but got removed after a falling out with the department heads over strategy. According to the PD, Jack went rogue after that. They claimed his actions pushed the kidnappers into killing their hostage. He gets reprimanded, they even take him to court. He's found not guilty, but he still quits the department. After which the chasers snatch him up. So who's he chasing? And what does it have to do with our games? I'll have to crack the bureau servers. Give me a moment. Look for something high stakes. Something put up by a celebrity. Something that would interest a man like Jack. There's over 30 bounties posted here. Which could it be? There. Naomi Ann Boris, the mayor's daughter. She's on the island. So, he's after the mayor's only child, huh? Jack better avoid this Grim Reaper wannabe or he'll be shorter by a head. He's a pain in the neck, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. This turd will cut your head off if you're not careful. Believe you me, that fucking hurts. He'll give you a head that'll leave you weak in the knees. And not in a good way. <laughs> here bloodbath challenge club and tee off on some motherfuckers fat ass dog we place target rings all over the place and if you succeed in giving any one of them head so to speak you gonna be doing fine so put on your knee highs bitch and put your motherfucking stuff oh hey baby now look here you're going for the wrong club now Ooh, but you always did have a sweet stroke No, 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 no! Come the shamans! The bleeding hearts out there whine that fur is murder, and in this case, they're absolutely right. This pack of magey motherfuckers chewed my ass off in the old four games, and to this day, I still shit a little crooked. When you hear them howl, get ready for a rabid mauling from the whole savage pack. I don't know you shot crooked. Little bit, little bit. I smell fresh meat. So, the target's in this castle, huh? Complete with facilities for getting medieval, no less. I can't decide whether that's really cool or really perverse. Maybe both. Mayor Boris is quite the real estate mogul. He had that castle brought over from Austria and renovated it to be a hotel. It was supposed to be open this Christmas. They were holding a private opening ceremony for A-listers the day the Death Watchers hit. The paparazzi were literally foaming at the mouth outside. But the mayor wasn't there? Oh, the hotel was his daughter Naomi's baby. She was the one throwing the party. She's still alive. I'm tapping into the same circuit the Death Watchers are using to run their game. Everyone but the rich and famous seem to be forced into playing, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they struck some kind of deal with game control? You think? Wouldn't there have been some communication with the mayor? Probably. I guess we'll know for sure when I get her. Pimps, players, and pain purveyors. How's everybody doing out there? I don't give a fuck. Sorry to interrupt the mayhem, but there's a very special person I'd like to introduce to you all. 
That's right, motherfuckers. It's your motherfucker, Jack Cayman, in this bitch. This motherfucker is a bounty hunter with the chasers. During the day, he tracks down missing children and dangerous criminals for fun and profit. But when it comes time to chill, Jack just likes to smoke motherfuckers and kill cigars. But for all you motherfuckers that already know him, I guess I don't need to tell you that. Cause you're all dead! Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack is one tough cookie, ex-marine special ops and expert in all forms of kicking that ass. In other words, just what we looking for here at the Death Watch Games. <laughs> but there's only one problem, Jack's not here to play the game. No, this motherfucker's chasing tail. Hey, Naomi, it's you. Naomi Ann Boris. This fine motherfucker, as you all know, is the daughter of Varigan City's Emperor. I, I mean, Mayor Boris. Jack's here at the mayor's request to rescue his daughter. Oh, ain't that shit sweet? You know what the problem with fame is? Jack, look out. Groupies. How much should we put on him? One million. And change the money line for the audience to minus 200 on the contestants, plus 300 on Jack. One million motherfucking dollars to the one who bags Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! A bounty on a bounty hunter? Clever. Now we all know how much people nowadays love to ask for seconds, the greedy motherfuckers. So that's why we giving you an extra big helping hand of what you require and desire. Pips, players, and pain purveyors, give it up for the Death Press 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Hell yeah, there's a sequel, bitch. How y'all tricks doing? It's me, baby. The Black Baron. Stop staring. <laughs> now, the rules to this one are easy with a capital EZ. When the big hand is out and looking for action, toss a G in there and let it squeeze the pip juice out of him. And when the hand goes away, you never know where it's gonna come back out to play. So stay on your toes, players. Oh! Ah! Oh, shit. Shit, nigga, shit. Smart and fast. Look at him work. The man's machine. All for you, Naomi. Your knight's going to need a fire hose to get that blood off his shining armor. I had nothing to do with this. I hadn't even heard about it until now. I'm sure this is one of my father's schemes. Oh, the idiot. So, what are you gonna do when he gets here? Why, she's going to let him save her, of course. She's the damsel in distress. 
the next guy, but this blood-hungry bitch can get a hickey that'll put you in the morgue. Yeah, I fought her in the Eastern Bloc games and lost the match. Four pints of plasma and was declared legally dead for a week. Awesome rock on her, though. Oh, true that. While you're blinded by her headlights, she'll sink a swarm of bastard bats on you to mess up your shit. Plus, the fuckers have fleas. Awesome rock on her, though. True that. Do your best, child! He's a vampire. Strip him and clip him! That's how you beat a bitch! Are you talking about death blocks or your dating techniques? Any difference? Nice move, Jack! Yeah, I've never seen a guy get a chick's clothes off so fast! And Jack wins! I think after doing <laughs> that peak at Elise, we all win! <laughs> <laughs> The window with her wings glint. Bravo, Jack! Did you see that? That was awesome! Oh yeah, Jack did a good job! You, Naomi? Your father sent me. I'm guessing you know why. Yes, you're Jack, the Chaser. I can't thank you enough for coming to rescue me. Here, your reward. I get it. You people are enjoying this. some crisis. This is all part of your opening ceremony. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Amala, have the mayor taken into custody. Roger. No, no, Jack. My father has nothing to do with this. Guess the house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. What about the girl? You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. What? No, I didn't mean... Wait, what work? Guess the house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. He's communicating with someone over a transmitter. A chaser. Must be one of those fixers. Can't we get any sound? No, it's one of those inner ear jobs. There's no sound to get. We did pick up some fishy signals, but the encryption is military grade. I thought we had the keys to all the chaser encryption schemes. So did I, but not this one. Maybe it's a new code. Strange. That smile. I've seen it somewhere before. 
There's a flood of audience interest in Jack. How much have we lost? 145 million, at present, sir. <laughs> what? The entire audience must have bid on him. Only 30% or so, but there was no point limit. We had some bids over the 100,000 mark. Should we remove Jack from the bidding? We can't do that. He's our star player. Nor can we eliminate him quietly. No. It will have to be done on camera, or the audience will never buy it. I know he's supposed to be good, sir. But what if he's up against something he's never seen before? Continue? Look at this. What exactly am I looking at? We found this during our analysis of the municipal data. As you know, we already did a thorough scan of the military installation on the eastern side of the island. But then we found some interesting discrepancies in the power usage records. Very interesting. Lead Jack there. Will do. Put him at minus 400 with no limit, and be sure to mention we don't know his current whereabouts. Yes, sir. You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. Work? What might that be, Jack? Howard and Crease back live with you from Area 66. This giant military industrial warehouse is kept at a balmy 87 degrees. Yep, the things that live here like it hot. If Jack is gonna make it out, he's gonna have Baby, 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 ha <laughs> ha! Y'all know a minute with the Black Baron is guaranteed to send you right back to heaven. But y'all's got to get the devil his due now. And the best way is to find yourself some alien-looking gray motherfuckers and run down as many of they bitch asses as you can. Watch them close, though. Cause if they make a move, those little bug-eyed freaks is worth mad points, yo. Baby, baby, yo, 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 baby, baby, come on now. The Black Baron's package may be otherworldly, but I'm still human, girl. <laughs> wait, wait! Oh, hell no! Looks like Jack's going to face Kojak in this round. I love Kojak. That dude never, and I mean never, gets off his bike. I love it. Why do you love that? Okay, honestly, I could give a fuck that he never gets off his bike. In fact, I think it's stupid, but Kojak paid me to say it. Said he wants someone to promote not getting off his bike as his thing. That's funny, because he paid me to ask why you love him so much. Fucker. I'm gonna fuck you! So he got through. We're getting a large number of claims from the audience, sir. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep Jack's feed black. Work to do... Could he mean chaser work? If so, who is he after? Number three, number six, number seven, number fifteen. Some of our biggest supporters are threatening to pull funding. We're getting more complaints from the mass audience as well, sir. Fine, fine. Open the channels to the installation. Put in a request to the sponsors of our top ten ranked contestants. See if they'll agree to pitting their men against Jack. Right away. Sponsors. Who's sponsoring Jack? It's number 13, sir. Lord Gesser. Yes. Except the contract was voided last night after the skirmish in Asian Town. This says the contract with Jack was presenting issues. Someone is still supporting him. He's a popular player. Anyone in our audience could be supplying him with weapons, contract or not. 
true enough. And we're sure Lord Gesser backed out. Sponsor contestant agreements are strictly confidential, but all signs point to ties being severed. Then get me Gesser. I need to speak with him. Yes, sir. Hypnose is good to have a hoe, but what you gotta know for sure is two hoes is better than one. Same goes for the money shot, right? So what makes money shot too special? You'll find out soon, pimps and players. And the black motherfucking baron is gonna be the pimp to teach your ass. The rules are simpler than turning out an ugly, broke-ass college girl from Kansas. Just pop the cork in some mark and send them flying sky high. Except the bitches you gonna be popping corks in ain't gonna mind cause they alien asses used to be space cadets. You know what I mean? Baby, you want a money shot yourself, don't you? <laughs> People, she don't talk much, but she into some freaky shit. Let me tell you, she could take a pop. Baby, tell them who lays the motherfucking money down. <laughs> Jack released the boss switch and is now able to face the big boss. How'd he do that? I guess he got enough points. You guess? Well, I'm not really sure. Ha <laughs> ha! Some announcer you are. Really? What's the name of the show? Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it starts with a Q. Or is it Kill Something? For the glory of our house! house. I have sponsor number 13's representative on screen. Hello, Noah. Long time no see. It has been too long, your lordship. So, you were planning on mentioning your continued relationship with Jack. Or perhaps you wanted me to discover your off-the-book support on my own. He lays golden eggs, Noah. What harm in preening him, even if he has flown the coop? Yes, but he continues to win. Isn't there more profit to be had as his sponsor? As you are no doubt aware, Jack is no common contestant. He came to this island with his own agenda. A contract with such a contestant wouldn't be legal. <laughs> yes, his agenda. You wouldn't happen to know what that is. He's costing us a great deal of money. Noah, uh, we support your endeavor. In fact, we are so enchanted with your product that we plan on significantly increasing our current investment. But we can hardly be expected to bear even a portion of your loss due to one rogue contestant's actions. No, that is entirely your responsibility. Or perhaps we... or rather... I have overestimated your abilities. The games are not yet over. True enough. I wish your organization best of luck with the remainder. I trust you'll be there to the end. Check his DNA. Though not as... what? His DNA. Check Jack's DNA. Get a sample of his blood and get it to the lab, now. Plenty of that around. Right away, sir. I had hoped you'd have realized who he is by now.
bitch, Martin. The guy's a giant robot controlled by a remote control by some fat fuck chicken shit too scared to fight for himself. Why do they let him do that? Uh, probably because he's got to try and kill a robot. Makes sense. One destructible target found. It's a 99.9% .9 match, sir. It's him. There hasn't been a Death Watch game since 2001, which would make Jack the reigning champion. There's a record of his death in 2001, the Atwar suicide bombing. His name has changed along with his face, his fingerprints, even the color of his eyes. He really didn't want the Bureau following him. No, he wasn't hiding from them. He was hiding from us. You think he could have forged all those Ministry of Justice records himself? Look, he left the Marines in 2001, right when he was supposed to have died. The Ministry had a hand in this. He works for justice? As much as Jack works for anybody. He's an MOJ spy. He has been all along. The Ministry's Bureau of Public Security were the ones who helped him escape from the Death Watchers. He brought them the dirt on us, and they erased his identity in return. The rescue effort launched by the authorities three days after the occupation and the attempt at driving us out both failed spectacularly. With our identity unknown and a total blackout on information from the island, they couldn't touch us, which is why they sent him, the one man who knows who we are and what we do. So this is the strip, huh? Do I have time for a lap dance? Perv. Kill him. I don't care how. Just kill him. Whatever it takes. No way! We follow the fucking rules. He's the star attraction. However we kill him, we kill him by the book. It's what the audience expects. That's what they pay for. But... Leonardo... Continue the games, Noah! We have quite a loss to make up for. Don't worry, Jack will fight. He will die a horrific, yet profitable death. <sighs> you know where we stand, Noah. Jack may be a dangerous man, but I'd rather fight him myself than have Lord Gesser for an enemy. Bad news, Jack. Is there any other kind these days? Your cover's blown. The Death Watchers have been accessing the profile the Ministry set up. So, we expected this. Luckily, you've been doing well. They wouldn't just snuff out their highest rated performer. Assholes couldn't if they wanted to. Let's hope you're right. These Death Watchers, according to what you told us, they're just running the games. 
That's right. They're more front office than anything else. They keep the games going, set the betting rates, and make a shitload of cash. Cash that comes from these sponsors? They're the ones who pull the strings. They supply the capital and make sure the proceeds come back to their pockets. I'm sure they bet along with the rest of the audience, too. Say you complete your mission and take down the Death Watchers. What about these investors, Jack? Think you can reach them? I can reach anyone. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's that old saying about a bird in the hand? Yes, but if the goal is to strike evil at its root... Evil? <laughs> I got a news flash for you, sweetheart. We're all evil. All of us. We've taken this planet of ours and fucked it- Okay, Jack. Okay. I get it. Listen, I'm not gonna promise you the answers you want, but here's a little something for you to do in case you're bored. There's all sorts of shit set up for these games. Find out the story behind it. I'm already way ahead of you. One thing's for sure. There's no way they built that place after taking over the city. They must have been working on it in secret for months. There's the dispassionate bureau analyst we know and love. I checked into real estate records, building contracts, and all the companies involved. Every one of them was a front. Someone was using dormant properties and paper corporations like a pro. The trail stops cold. Of course it does. It's supposed to. Look, check again. This wasn't planned by robots. They fucked up somewhere. Find it. But Jack, I- Look, I'd love to chat, but I've got company over for tea. Maybe next time, huh? Come one, come all! Got three of these games under my belt. Why not make it four? Just don't get cocky. Who wants a piece of the champ? Good lord, look at that fountain! It looks like something getting it up back there! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a trick-ass 50-year-old dude in the trackies! Down to the knob, bitches! It's Mad Darts 2! Come on now, pimps and players. Y'all know you love the Black Baron's attempted hue with it, didn't you? With your stank asses. Swing the bat and teach some motherfucker that when it's time to play, it's time to pay. And of course, when it comes to pimping and pain, the only G's who gets a shot at Mandarts 2 are the real all-star players. Oh, shit, what the... Oh, hell no! Go, go! Jack, I've got some new intel. That was quick. You find something about the facility? No, we're still looking into that. I have another analyst working on it. Okay. Enlighten me. The Bureau caught up with the arms dealer who supplied the Death Watchers. Apparently he's quite the superstar in some circles. And I'm sure he isn't talking or cutting any deals. Because someone in the government above the Ministry of Justice stepped in and dragged him off before you could so much as offer him a cup of tea. Yes, that's... How did you know? Say hello to one of your roots of evil, Amala. Paid for by our very own tax dollars. What? Are you suggesting that our government is involved in this blood sport? Sorry, I was being too subtle. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. Look, the president may not know anything as usual, but someone near the top sure as hell does. Maybe they didn't mastermind it, but they're involved. And they're after the same thing the rest of the audience is. Money. Jack. Please, don't whine about the government betraying us. The government's just people, Amala. And people don't all share our Founding Fathers' values. Some, like you, protect us. But some just want to mug us in an alley. That's all it ever was. Then why leave the games, Jack? If we're all so corrupt up here? No reason. Guess I just got tired of myself. Tired of killing. Sorry. That's okay. You probably don't talk to lowlifes like me much, I'm guessing. You know what they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. 
Well, some of us never leave the dust. We spend our whole lives in it. So, we done? Because I need to keep moving. The games are up pretty soon, and there's a kill seeker out there in first place who needs to be kicked off the throne. Only way to meet the Death Watchers is to win their game. And I haven't lost one of these yet. Jack, be careful. Amala, I have a chainsaw on my arm. I'll be fine. In a pleasure palace where dreams are made and hearts are broken, every elevator has the potential to take you straight to the top. On the other hand, stepping through those doors might send you tumbling to hell. You roll the dice, you take your chance. In Death Watch, the house always wins and the losers always win. out. Fine, fine. Ticker's still ticking. <laughs> Ixnay on the shouting, please. Jack, so good to hear you're doing well. Ah, Agent 13. How'd he get on this channel? Oh, we roots of evil love to spread our tendrils and mingle where we're not welcome. So, to what do we owe this intrusion? Selling raffle tickets? Jack, as a past participant in the games, what do you think of this round? What do I think? You know better than any of us what the Death Watchers want, what they value. Tell me what you feel, Jack, in your bones. It's the blood and circuses all over again, that's all. Gladiators against gladiators, and a crowd eager to see guts spill on the sand. You think there's more to it than that? Because <laughs> there isn't. I had hoped we were past the lies, Jack. Surely you understand that a Death Watch game without purpose is nothing more than mindless self-indulgence. There's a purpose to all this killing? As I've said before, these games are always held when conflict must be settled with blood. Yet now, even though there is no pressing need, the people's demand for the games is higher than it's ever been. They thirst. You know, 13, I like this whole purpose thing of yours. It's very zen. It's just kind of hard to believe a word you say when you're making money hand over fist here. Money is trivial, Jack. I wanted to see things die. Not just people, bigger things. Ideas, nations, cultures, gods. Like all the games before. I wanted to see the losers pay with more than just their lives. I wanted to see the winner win more than just money. I wanted to see them win the future, win the promise of power. But these games, they don't deserve the title of Death Watch. This is just watching the world burn. That's why no games have been held since 2001? Quite right, Miss Amala. So you're telling me that the organizers of the current games duped you into thinking they had some grand vision? but that you only found out it was all bullshit entertainment after you cashed your check? If this is all entertainment, then why are you here, Jack? To burn this game to the ground. But, Jack, hadn't you heard? The world has already gone mad. There is nothing left to burn. But I digress. Allow me to take my leave. Oh, and Miss Amala, look to Springvale for answers about the Death Watch facility. Springvale? You mean the Springvale conglomerate? My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or, I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... Springvale. Don't they have a lot of pull in pharmaceuticals? Something about industry consolidation. So long, Jack. Best of luck. A mad world, huh? <laughs> I'll fit right in.
checked into the building contracts and real estate records for the facility, turns out that the signing lawyers were all from the same office, run by none other than Springville's corporate lawyer. Good enough for me. What's the Bureau have to say? Remember last, last year's presidential elections and those reports of illegal donations made to the Socialist Party? Springville's stock was hit hard, really hard, and the Bureau thinks they started up the games to recoup losses. Still, that's not enough to go indicting anyone. Of course not. Which is why you have to get into game control and apprehend the men running this. The Bureau's coming. You think the Ministry of Justice is gonna get their hands dirty rooting your garden for you? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Never mind. No time for chit-chat now, anyway.
Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. Sucks to be you. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You could try something else. Polo, maybe. It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Jack? Jack! Are you okay? Jack? What's going on? Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <coughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... I don't want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. Not even one little thing? See, I was wondering, why Death Watch? If getting word out about the virus was the goal, why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack... You're here to arrest me, right? You better hurry, or, or I'm gonna die on you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice, and I'm certainly not its bitch. What? You mean you're just using the Bureau? To laugh. <laughs> oh, come on, clear your throat and answer my question, douchebag. My. my dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just. You just. It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack, the game. It was the best, Jack. Ah, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it. On your skin. <coughs> now. Help me, or I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't help people.
I kill them. I hate this part of town. These billboards are a fucking waste of money. Self-centered credit horse, if you ask me. I didn't. The game designers are the guys who are in charge of this clusterfuck. How can you tell which one is the lead programmer? He's the one not getting laid more than the other programmers. So many nerds, so little time. They say programmers speak the language of computers because nobody else will speak to them. I didn't know you were a programmer. I think my ex-wife slept with all these guys. I remember that night. Hey, that guy was in my how to draw for slow learners class. I didn't have good enough grades to get into that class. I've seen these guys, and they're ugly as sin. Worst models ever. Modelers, not models, you idiot. They're still ugly. The lead animator is the lower intestine of the animation world. Yep, because he's full of shit. Animators are the guys who bring the action to life. I think you mean they're the guys who get no action their whole life. Yeah, what did I say? If he's the lead artist, I'd hate to see the morons he leads. Artists are like a rash. You don't know where they come from, and you don't care, just as long as they go away. They changed their name to Artist when they realized that brain-dead booger eaters wasn't going to fit on their business cards. They only had one guy as the blood effects designer? Oh, he must have been working 24-7. You know, the interface designers are... Interface designers? How the hell did you get that job? I said interface, not in her face. Don't care. I'm already getting my resume ready. You know, this is a disappointment after the amazing soundtrack he did for Anal Butt Sluts number 14. Yeah, I bought the CD for that one. How sad to go from world-class beatbox artist to supervising sound editor. Oh, how the might he have fallen. Sound editing? Jesus, everything sounded like a wet fart. Sorry, that was me. Ah, oh, Howard. I don't know if yelling bang every time something happens qualifies as sound programming. I don't think story writer is the right title for this guy. What title would you use? I don't know, something along the lines of Mercurial Drama Queen Hat? Works for me. Hey, look at this. The spell checker gets a credit, too. Kent Pontac and Warren Graff. I hate those guys. They're always putting words in my mouth. I think they're on drugs. This guy's storyboards remind me of the work of a famous artist. A classic or modern artist? Now, I was thinking of that gorilla at the zoo who makes pictures with his own shit. This guy's not that good. He won this job because of the work he did from the back of a matchbook. We can file a lead cinematic designer under made-up job titles and just move on. They have to start calling the interns cinematic animators after the intern riots back in July. Jesus, these guys couldn't frame Howard for sex crime. Wow, they must really suck. I know. After everything I've seen, I think the designers should be fired. All part of their grand design. Which one was the producer? Uh, he showed up that one time with pizza for everybody and asked if everything was okay, and then he left. I thought that was the pizza delivery guy. Well, he's both. The director's a lot like my dad. He gets drunk, he yells a lot, he passes out in a pool of his own drool. He's harmless, and people usually just ignore his ramblings. <laughs> 